Hello, and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. It's no secret that many of our veterans suffer from PTSD after experiencing the horrors of war. Tom Voss is one of those veterans. He served in Iraq from 2004 to 2005 and came back a changed man. Tom is here with psychologist Emma Sapala to talk about treating PTSD and other mental illness with meditation. Thank you so much for being here. Great honor Thanks. to meet you, sir, and a very important topic. L let's talk about your experience in, in Iraq. Uh, sure. What happened and, uh, that kind of changed you? Sure. I was uh, deployed to Mosul, Iraq from 2004 to 2005 as an infantry soldier. Uh, through that process, uh, my platoon sergeant was killed in action, uh, squad leader was killed in action, and um, among that, you know, we were at attacked on, on pretty much a daily basis. So I was 20 years old uh, when I was there, and, um, you know, when you're in a combat situation, you really don't have a lot of time to process right. these things. So when, when you came back uh, after serving, uh, what was going through your mind? How were you behaving? Sure. What was your, you know, the things that were happening around you? Well, when I got back, it, it was, um, you know, you're happy to be back. You're happy to be with your family. And you tried to pick up where you left off. Mm -hmm. And at that time, a lot of my friends were graduating college. And I thought that I needed to enroll in school full time, get my own place, uh, get a full time job and really kind of just dive back in. But really, that ended up uh, catching up with me later on. And I I started isolating myself and started not going to school and started to kind of withdraw from uh, a lot of these things and um, self-medicating with alcohol to sleep. Uh, right. These these things just started uh, becoming more prevalent in my life. So, uh, Doc, um, you, you're an expert in PTSD. Um, I know you have a book, and I'll talk about the book later. How do you treat PTSD in general? Well, traditional approaches are pharmaceutical or therapeutic. Um, and those work in some cases, but in some cases they do not. Right. So we wanted to look at a, a new methodology, um, breathing-based meditation practice called Sudarshan Kriya Yoga. It's based in yoga and offered through a nonprofit called Project Welcome Home Troops. And we uh, found that after one week, the veterans who had participated in our study um, their anxiety decreased and normalized, in fact. And we found that one month and one year later, those results were maintained, suggesting permanent improvement, which was wonderful. So the, the approach, uh, and this is like meditation, yoga, right? It's a breathing, active breathing practice. Okay. So w would this be a line of therapy? Because uh, I'm just trying to get the, the, the sort of the, the significance of it, you know, vis-a-vis -vis the traditional methodology of treating somebody with PTSD, which you mentioned is medication, maybe it's anti-anxiety medicines, antidepressants, mm -hmm. a little talk therapy, of course. Yeah. Um, when would you institute your program into somebody who, you know, like a veteran, is suffering from PTSD? Well, really, some of the veterans in our study had tried everything and nothing had worked for them. Okay. So this is a program that um, allows the veterans to learn a practice that they can pursue every day um, and that they can self-administer, which is also very empowering. We know that through breathing, you can calm your heart rate and blood pressure within minutes. Okay. So it's very powerful and very easy to do. So you, uh, I'm assuming you joined the program, right? Right, yeah. And, uh, you know, some, if somebody tells me, well, you know, we're going to teach you how to breathe and how right. to calm down, I, I might be a little skeptical. Right. Were you? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, you get uh, that feeling like, I, I mean, I breathe every day. So, right, like, exactly. How, how is this different? But uh, really, at that point, I was ready and open to trying, you know, any, anything that could potentially help me. And this had a, a, a tremendous impact on my life. Were you, if I may... Were you in a program prior to that? Were you taking medications? Sure. And, sure. You know, I, was, I was put through your standard uh, traditional you right. know, talk therapies. I was also put on you know, battery of medication when I came back. Right. And I found that the medication really you know, wasn't really helping me that, that I felt like I was, I was getting. So uh, uh, this was a, an option that I, I liked you know, better because it didn't involve you know, medication Chemicals or and you know, yeah, like and that, adding, right. adding heavy medications in, into, your, into your life. So uh, I was really open to it. So how, did it change you? Did it uh, work? Definitely. And, and I think one of the, the major things that happened through this, this workshop was that the relationship that I had with these traumatic events in my past completely shifted. So before, when I would think about, um, you know, I had a lot of survivor's guilt. So why didn't I die instead of my friends? Right. So 
um, this really changed my perspective on that. So, so I, I was really able to look at things that have happened in my past and have a, a, a different uh, outlook on that. You started to mention this program, this project, Project Welcome, uh, Home Troops and Almost Sunrise. Uh, tell me about that. I'll leave it open for sure. either one of you. Sure. I'm the, uh, currently the National Veterans Liaison for Project Welcome Home Troops. So I travel around the country doing introductory talks about how this program has really helped me and uh, you know, talking to VA hospitals as well about uh, how we can integrate these, these types of programs into uh, the hospitals themselves. And um, the documentary film that I'm featured in is called Almost Sunrise, and you can check that out at uh, sunrisedocumentary.com. But it follows me through this process of going Beautiful. through the workshop for the first time. Beautiful. And um, before that, another Iraq War veteran and myself took the time to walk across the country to kind of decompress uh, from our time in war. So it really, really chronicles that, that journey. And then at the end, it really um, showcases this, uh, the Power Breath Meditation Workshop by Project Welcome Home Troops. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, real quick, uh, you wrote a book mm -hmm. on all of this. What's I, the title of the book? Mm -hmm. I wrote a book called The Happiness Track. And what I found through this research is if that it can, if breathing and other types of practices of that type can help veterans with anxiety, it can certainly help the rest of us with just common stress. Right. So my hope is that through the book, um, every, everybody can, can find out more about these kinds of practices. All right. And uh, where can people get information? Uh, is there a website? Yeah, my website is emmasepola.com, my full name.com, but the book is on Amazon, The Happiness Track. All right, listen, thank you. Uh, very important topic, uh, very, very important topic. I'm all for any kind of therapy that helps our veterans uh, really come back and, and lead, uh, you know, healthy lives. Thank, thank you, you very much for, thank you. for the work you do. And if you have any health questions, tweet me at Dr. Manny on Fox. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.